We're often asked where did it begin? Renaissance set off about six or seven years ago to venture into coding and robotics and immediately jumped into VEX robots and Legos, moved on up to RoboMasters and drone flying. Kids were having a ball. But we immediately found out that it was almost like putting together a IKEA set. Kids were putting together kits but didn't really understand how gears worked and how motors worked. And so we started thinking about more like engineering, but also critical thinking being able to solve problems with what you create and what you develop and what you build. College and school gives you the information that you need in order to complete tasks, but it doesn't teach, prepare you for critical thinking. And we wanted to focus on more on how to teach students to be more well-rounded critical thinkers and problem solvers. At Renaissance, we focus on giving people a holistic approach, so being able to get a taste of every aspect of engineering and STEM in general. So we go through coding, we go to 3D printing, 3D modeling, uh, wiring, soldering. We give them an experience in all those aspects so that they can become a more well-rounded engineer. We try to focus on giving students an experience that will give them critical thinking skills. So we want them to be able to take their skills and actually apply them. We don't want learning just for learning's sake. We want learning for the application of learning. And with that approach, our young people have been able to take performance-based learning and use that for critical thinking to actually solve problems. Meet a national STEM champion from the South Bronx. News 12's Brittany Cadet spoke with the STEM students from the Renaissance Youth Center. In my community and in, in the whole entire world, there's a poop problem. People don't clean up after their dogs whenever they're supposed to. So I felt like I should create something to change that problem. And thanks to Triana's poop project, she punched her ticket to the National STEM Festival in Washington, D.C. I think this is better than having a trash can because you can actually see the progress that the can has made and it can inspire you to want to help clean the community day by day. Hand wrote and signed the letter to all oh, of the students. Oh, snap. Yeah. Barack Obama! Barack Obama. Yeah. <laughs> you have a certificate oh. of recognition for your excellence and your commitment to the community, right? And using your skill, using your aptitude, using your intellect, and using your heart to figure out how to better your community and better yourself and better our state along the way. With thousands of applicants, only a handful were women of color. What is Renaissance doing to fill this gap? We intend to help level the playing field to give all young people the access to STEM. We intend to do projects that excite them to want to be eager to learn, but also help impact their communities. Renaissance did not do this alone without a good, strong partner. And one of our good, strong partners is Broadcom. Paula Gold and her team have been amazing for offering us opportunities, exposure, funds, so we could service our young people. Bringing coding to Renaissance Youth Center has been one of the greatest and most powerful philanthropic efforts of our foundation. Because Renaissance Youth Center and the program that they've developed around the sustainability, sustainable development goals and coding is a model for the nation and the world. It's critical that more and more kids are learning these skills, preparing themselves to, to jump into companies like Broadcom and others to solve problems. And more importantly than just learning to code here, the kids are learning problem solving. They're learning how to apply technology to solve problems. I hope you enjoyed the video um, as we celebrate Triana Sullivan, our national STEM champion, as well as all the other young people here at Renaissance Youth Center who are on their journey um, to become coders and engineers. If you'd like to get involved, please, please reach out to either Renaissance Youth Center or a local nonprofit organization or a school in your community. There's a lot of work to be done. Thank you.